Hey friends, Dean here. Before we get you on to your episode, I want to take a moment to invite you to our next virtual online trivia night. Wednesday, May 13th at 8 p.m. Join us either on our Facebook group or on our YouTube page for three rounds of fun trivia, music questions, movie questions, general knowledge questions. It'll be a fun time and a chance to win some prizes and have just a good relaxing night uh, of some trivia at, at home. You don't even have to go out for it. So don't forget, Wednesday, March 13th at 8 p.m., Join us on our Facebook group or YouTube for three rounds of fun virtual online trivia. We'll see you there. In this quick hit, we're taking a look at themes from TV shows that top the charts, and maybe a few that came close as well. Stay tuned. You're listening to a 3324 podcast quick hit with Dean Legiro, where Dean shares stories and trivia about his favorite chart hits, actors, movies, and more. Welcome, friends. Dean here from the 3324 Podcast with this week's Quick Hit. You can find us on social media on Facebook and Instagram at 3324podcast, on Twitter at 3324p. So why don't you give us a follow? That would be great. Before the days of multiple streaming services and endless choices of how, when, and where to watch content, families were gathered around their television sets each week to check in on their favorite shows. From classic comedies like Taxi, Good Times and Friends, to dramas like Quantum Leap, Dallas, and Columbo. As unforgettable as these shows are, an important part of the package was the opening theme song. Having a catchy lyrical pop song was a must for situation comedies, and dramatic shows often had serious instrumental themes to set the tone for what was to come. It hasn't happened in quite some time. But from the mid-70s to the early 90s, there were four TV show theme songs that managed to hit the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Amazingly enough, the unofficial start of the rock and roll era charts begin around July of 1955 or thereabout, and many shows from that point on have themes that are indelibly etched into our brains. But it would not be until February of 1976 that the theme from the drama SWAT by the group Rhythm Heritage would be the first to claim the top spot. A mere six weeks later, on May 8th of 1976, another TV theme would rise to the top. And it could not be from a more different show. This one, about a teacher returning to his Brooklyn high school to teach a group of rough-and-tumble students. The theme to Welcome Back, Cotter was written and sung by Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee John Sebastian of the 60s group The Love and Spoonful. The song originally only had one verse— but its popularity necessitated the addition of a second verse as well as a harmonica solo. The single version of the song would eventually be used in the closing credits of the show as well. Things would dry up for a few years, but with the explosion of MTV and the advent of drum machines, samplers, and synthesizers, a TV show debuted in 1984 that was not only influenced by the style and music of the era, but would flip the script and be the trendsetter for both. The charts were ready once again for a theme from a police show to take the top spot, if only for one week. Jan Hammer's theme from Miami Vice rolled up everything about 80s music, for better or worse, into one two-and-a-half-minute instrumental trip through an electronic, sonic landscape that had all the newest music technology the 80s had to offer. The final theme to top the charts is one that I admittedly have never heard. And the show that it came from only ran from August 1992 to November of the same year, when it was canceled only after 12 episodes. That show was The Heights, which was about a fictional band of the same name. Sung by Jamie Walters, How Do You Talk to an Angel hit the top on November 14th of 92, and in a bitter sting, the show would be canceled the following week. Jamie Walters would go on to Bigger and Better with a recurring role in the 90s smash teen drama Beverly Hills 90210. Next, we'll talk about a few themes that cracked the top 10, but could not reach the peak. We'll be right back. There have been many TV themes to chart over the decades, and we covered the number ones here. But there are a few that came close, and one made it to number two but could not finish the climb. And that was the theme to The Greatest American Hero, also known as Believe It or Not by Joey Scarberry. It hit number two in August of 1981 and was kept from the top spot, oddly enough, by the theme from a film. Lionel Richie and Diana Ross would shut down all contenders with the theme from Endless Love, 
which would end up being the second biggest single of the year behind Betty Davis Eyes. Johnny Rivers would hit number three in 1966 with Secret Agent Man from the show Secret Agent. With its instantly recognizable guitar riff, this was not only a hit TV theme, but it's also recognized as a classic rock song on its own. Spending 14 weeks on the chart and stalling at number four in 1969, one of the most iconic and enduring TV themes to hit the chart would come from 2008 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees and instrumental music pioneers, The Ventures. Although it's not the version heard in the show, the version by The Ventures has the same toe-tapping energy and is a very close copy of the original. Rounding out the list is a theme from one of the most revered comedies of the 70s and the foundation of an incredible five spin-off shows. This theme would hit number five on the charts. The theme from Happy Days went through a few changes before it became the chart hit we all know and love. The original version was recorded in 1974 and used only in the closing credits of the first two seasons. A few lyric changes later and a re-recording by artists Pratt and McLean and the theme from Happy Days was ready to make its climb up the charts. On the flip side of the single was a curious instrumental called Cruising with the Fonz. Go figure. In case you're wondering, the spinoffs that came from Happy Days were Laverne and Shirley, Joni Loves Chachi, a show called Out of the Blue, Blansky's Beauties, and a sitcom about an alien that lands in Boulder, Colorado, starring a then-unknown actor Robin Williams. That show was Mork and Mindy. So there you have it. TV shows that not only entertained us visually, but also gave us a treat for our ears. This has been Dean with your 3324 Quick Hit. This has been a 3324 Podcast Quick Hit. You can find us on your favorite podcast provider. So please like, subscribe, and rate to become a part of the 3324 family. Your feedback is important, so please make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at 3324podcast and on Twitter at 3324p to join the conversation. 